If you are looking for something new and different for the upcoming Compliance Week celebration in November, check out The Compliance Kids. It's my three-book children's series on compliance and compliance professionals for children. But they make great gifts and great training tools for your employees. You can check it out on Amazon.com. We've linked to it in the show notes. The Compliance Tip of the Day. This is the podcast where you bring you daily insights and practical advice on navigating the ever-evolving landscape of compliance requirements. Whether you're a seasoned compliance professional or just starting your journey, my aim in this podcast is to provide you with a bite-sized, actionable tip to help you stay on top of your compliance game. Join us as we explore the latest trends from the Department of Justice, share some best practices, demystify complex compliance issues to help keep your organization doing business ethically and in compliance and at the end of the day, more profitably. Tune in daily for your dose of compliance wisdom. Let's make compliance a little less daunting, one tip at a time. Now a word from the sponsor of the Compliance Podcast Network, Ethico. If you're a compliance officer, middle managers are crucial in getting your programs from you to your frontline employees. But how do we activate those managers and get them on our side? Ethico's new Middle Manager Toolkit equips you with the skills needed to empower your managers, to promote a culture where ethical behavior thrives and employees feel empowered to speak up. Learn how to turn frontline managers into ethical leaders with our new white paper, Empowering Middle Managers as Ethics Champions. And did I mention you can get the whole toolkit for free? Head to ethico.com to download the full toolkit today. We continue our exploration of the John Deere FCPA enforcement action for tips for the compliance professional. And today we focus on lessons on corrupt payments. So number one, what is the role of leadership in facilitating bribery? One of the most glaring aspects of the John Deere case was the direct involvement of the subsidiary's managing director. From instructing the finance manager to withdraw cash for bribes to coordinating payments with a third-party consultant, the managing director was central and a central figure in orchestrating the bribery scheme. This demonstrates how misconduct can, at the top leadership level can significantly increase the risk of noncompliance. A key lesson for compliance professionals is that senior leadership buy-in is a critical element for an effective compliance program. If senior management is involved in the unethical practices, it undermines the entire compliance framework. Cash payments and code words and internal communications. In the John Deere case, the MD instructed the finance manager to prepare envelopes filled with cash for government officials. The internal communication between the two included text messages referencing candy money and specific instructions on how much to withdraw, leaving a clear paper trail of bribery. Here, the lessons for the compliance professional is that internal communications can provide early indicators of corruption activities. Compliance officers should work closely with IT and HR to implement systems for monitoring not just suspicious communications, but literally high-risk communications, especially when they involve terms that could be seen as euphemisms for illegal activity. It is also important to note that uh, employees should be encouraged to report any unusual activity. So what about the impact of bribery on business operations? In the John Deere case, the subsidiary obtained $4.6 million uh, in business through bribery, reaping an illicit profit of 2.7. While these figures may seem like a short-term business win, the long-term consequences, including legal penalties, reputational damage, and loss of shareholder trust, far outweigh any financial gains. Financial compliance professionals understand this final lesson, but do not always articulate it as well as they should. Always remember the cost of bribery is going to be far higher than anything you could garner back. And indeed, the John Deere FCPA enforcement action is a prime example of this truism. This is Tom Fox again. This new podcast, Compliance Tip of the Day, will appear daily. And frankly, it's one of the most requested topics.
topics for a podcast that I get on a regular basis. It's going to be short and sweet with uh, one tip with some takeaways that you can utilize to implement into your compliance program. If you've got a question that you would like a tip on, please submit them uh, through our website and we will use them in an upcoming episode. The Compliance Tip of the Day is a production of the award-winning Compliance Podcast Network. Finally, this podcast contains promotional materials.